bam bam bada bada bam da 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 right same situation as the last two days don't know how long I'm gonna last for but it's an opportunity to stream so I'm gonna do it carrying on with rainbow moon I'm just gonna check make sure everything is all working to the extent that I want it to as in it's working fine just putting some headphones in ba da da yep the name's right uh, what else is there Category is right. It's gonna check the audio. Oh. Oh, there's a buzzing. One second. Right. I'm gonna check the see if the PS4 is making a lot of noise, which it might be. Sometimes it does that. Not particularly. I'm gonna open my window a bit, though. See all the snow outside. Well, you can't. I can. A bit of the old manoeuvring. I'm going to have to put my dressing gown on as well. Yeah, that seems okay. I think. I don't know if it's still making the noise. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. I am going to put my dressing gown on. It's cold. Well, I'm not cold just now, but I will be. I'll get started. On this epic adventure. Right, okay. Is it the laptop that's making a lot of noise? I don't know. Well, I'll stay away a bit. Hold on. Right. Oh, you, actually, you know what it might be? I've just figured this out. It this never occurred to me, but one second. This will be such a revelation if this turns out to be true. Right. Whoa. Right. One second. One, two, three, four, five. Can't believe it. Yep. I know what it is. Right, okay. That. Oh, I'll be checking the thing. Oh, this is still quite awkward, but. Right. Right. One, two, three, four, Right, I know what it is. It's when my um, controller is plugged into the chat. Is it? It's on charge. It's plugged into the mains. That's what's causing that that buzzing noise. Oh, that's quite a revelation. I'm glad I know that now. Well, 
I've got a I've got a rechargeable battery pack on it that doesn't actually make the noise when that's on but I'm gonna have a look at right it's on three bars that's okay then right I'll just leave it off charge that's good to know right fight these guys and then I can go and talk to Zillarus with my favorite battle theme in the game so I might be able to hear the uh, um the blinds moving. Jeez, I realise it's six minutes in and I've mostly been doing what's housekeeping, is that the right term? I was hoping they would die, but they didn't. This won't kill them, will it? Ah, oh, one of them. Oof, no. Whatever. It's gonna kill this guy here. There's nothing with long range attacks, is there? Doesn't look like it. Right, I'm gonna throw that window out. It's a bit too windy. Yeah, the PS4 is definitely not warm. I to better call it the PS3 then. Hello there, Lavender. I'm in the same situation as before. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay on for, but an amount of time is better than nothing, I guess. Even if it's just t 10 minutes. Although I do hope it's longer. I mean, if this was to end now, that would be quite a disaster because I spent most of the time just testing out settings. Although, I don't know if you caught it earlier, but I f figured out what was making the buzzing noise in the background as has been going on in other streams as well. It's when I've got it, the controller plugged in on charge. Because the charge, I've got it plugged into the mains, so it's that sound coming through. Right, he can't attack those two, can he? No, he has to move a space. I know, it is very weird. Baldwin's almost out of MP. Yes, it um, it's sort of well, I, I suppose so. It's kind of like uh, once you complete the main story, new places open up. So you've still got like a post game. But it's more like just a direct continuation on. But there are bosses afterwards, which I suppose you could call super bosses. But when you do get to the post game, it gets the leveling gets really out of hand. You start leveling up really quickly. You don't actually need to defeat the the final super boss to platinum the game though, which is quite strange. Now, I don't know if you're blocking something, but either way, talk to Zellerus. Yes, I do. Here's the cactus cake, which I well, sounds absolutely disgusting. See, Zellerus agrees.
Right, so where does he want me to go to? Uh, all the way up there. Ah, right, okay, yeah, because he'll give me the key to go into that dungeon. Ah, oh, I thought you were blocking something, never mind. No, you just throw this after the battle. Maybe I'm... I mean, I've played through this game once before. I don't remember exactly. But there's a chance that in a few hours I might get the boat. But I'm going to heal up and, and do the lottery. If I can do the lottery, I might. It might be the same day, I don't know. Ah, yeah, I've already done it. Let's try a fruit rain. Two more hours. Probably won't need to sell anything. How's my inventory going? Yeah, I've got plenty of space there. I'm going to have another look in a moment. Thank you. See, that guy's there is the, the healer. I think you mean him. I can see, I can see the resemblance. Right, all up here. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Well, there's one here. Let's listen. Yeah. Oh, no. You'll mean the... Uh, yeah, right, okay. The shopkeeper. And there was, yeah, yeah, welcome here. <laughs> or something like that. Alright, this guy will give me the key to go into that dungeon. He skipped a bit of text before. Yep, the key. I don't want to fight ten zombies. I'll have to listen next time I get to get to one of those. Hey, I'll fight these guys. Yeah, I think I'm thinking the boat is coming soon. And when I say soon, I do mean a couple hours or so, I think. But I will be surprised if I'm forgetting a good portion of the stuff. Can I hit anyone with this? The boat. You um. I think. I don't really remember what else there is to do. I I remember you have to find Zeller. You have to get Zellerus to join your team. And there's probably more stuff that I'm forgetting about, but afterwards is when you get the boat. So. Uh, when you get the boat is because you start you get the raft early on and the raft lets you travel across shallow water but the boat just lets you travel across any water and when you get the boat that's when you start you get a pop-up that says 
that it, it like tells you about how oh uh, we're not going to be giving you story cues anymore and it gives you a map and says right here's the things that you need to find so it sort of sets you out all on your way I guess and it's like it's the big like people say it's the equivalent of a Final Fantasy game where you get an airship can't cross shallow water no, no, they can. In the, um, well, I suppose shallow relative to the ocean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right, Desire is poisoned. So let's get an antidote flask on him. Um. Right, I don't know how big this place is. I guess I should probably try using fruit rain now. I really think this game could have made better use of the whole lighting system because when you're in a like a dungeon like this one here it's actually dark oh yeah <laughs> for sure Ooh, scroll shop, anything new here? I don't think so. Oh, oh what does power play do? Additional damage on normal attacks. I might get Sniper Master, you know. Let's actually have a look at their passive skills. Uh, well, he, okay, he, so here's the thing that's going on with the whole lighting system. Now, this place is lit up uh, at the moment, and when it gets dark, it sort of fades darker a bit. I think they should have just made it so that there's a like a circle of light around you that expands when you use the torches and stuff but there are items you can use like a torch which will sort of like add a layer it, it, it stacks time wise um, the amount of light that you emit but hold on I'll show you here's a healer right so I'll just heal all that Goodbye. now the thing is, is there's an ability called Magic Light. Now, who's used it? Right, Baldrin's used it. So, Baldrin has Magic Light at level 43 there. And this has the same effect as a torch. It costs 1 MP, and it stacks infinitely. So, the reason why I don't ever play through in the dark is because I've just did some... Every so often, I'll just do this. Just spam it like crazy. Right, oh, he's out of MP, but I can get talk to this guy. And nine, recover that MP. So you can sort of just do that. And it will last it for ages. Right, now who are these guys weak to? Because I forget. 
If it's Baldwin, that'd be very nice. No, it doesn't look different because I already had Lord stacked up already. So you wouldn't notice. Because it wasn't... Pretty much I've just been playing this game with loads of it stacked up. And then... Just kept going with it. I love this music. I love the flow of this game. I love how... Like when you want to use an attack, it opens up a big menu like that. And it looks very tactical. Tactical and epic, I suppose. If that makes sense. I shouldn't have used... I shouldn't have actually attacked. I shouldn't have done that. I, should, I shouldn't have moved. I should have just use this. Because this, this attack automatically readjusts you. What I don't like, I don't like how the screen shake. I don't like the screen shake visual because it's, it shakes the whole screen including all of the UI rather than just, you know, the arena. Like all the health bars and everything shake with it. And it means you sort of get a, like the black border shifts into view. Ah oh, yeah, the splitting of course. Hey, hi Fran. No Jeremy Clarkson advertisement on Twitch. That's right. It's time for the new car. And this is quite a zone so so I don't he, he, I don't know car lingo, so my Jeremy Clarkson impression doesn't quite work out in that regards. Yeah, I get loads of those Jeremy Clarkson adverts on Twitch. Also, Fran, same situation as yesterday. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay on for. Um, I might have to go at any moment, but we'll see how it goes. This new car from BMW has four wheels. <laughs> yeah, thing is though, no, sometimes... Sometimes I have some sort of like vague idea like if everyone else if everyone leaves in the house the house at such a time then it's like well I can sort of measure that I don't know when they're gonna be back but I know they're gonna be out for they're not gonna be back within an hour. I can, you know, use that and and all that. But in this case it's like if someone's been away overnight, you know, they could come back at any moment. But... I was going to buy something from him, wasn't I? I was going to have a look at buying something. Right. Right. So he's got five... Four and six. I can buy plenty, but... 
Let's use... Can I fruit rain? No, nine hours. Um... <laughs> oh, I haven't worked on level up land two for a while. I need to go back to the... Next time... I need to get back into the habit of going back to the... <laughs> going back to the library and working on programming the maps because I've done the overworld map apart from the light little collectible things and I've got dungeon maps to do which is what I was in the middle of oh huh. Luck plus 50%. I'll tell you what, I'll give that to Dozeru as well. So they'll all have poison resistance. Don't like that. Don't like that. I don't like that. I could get another one of those. I'll get two of those actually. I don't know, cost quite a bit, but. You know, it's tough to do. Oh, and I have all those things to sell as well. Right. Initial strike and poison resistance. You've already got initial strike, don't you? And you've got that. Right, it's okay. Now. Oh, I can't equip it. Is it called lasagna? I'm just imagining called lasagna. Right, I'll take that off and put that on. So they're all resistant poison now. Oh, wonky. Well, if it tastes fine, that's what matters. And it doesn't, it's not going to kill you. Because I suppose that would matter as well. So yeah, apples and bananas are my currently food that I'm keeping to eat, but I'm thinking... Well, that's that's the main thing, isn't it? Well, as long as you know it tastes fine. It's yeah, so apples and bananas are my main go-to food to, to eat up in this game. People who eat fugu. Either that's a typo, or I am, or I am, really missing something. Hey, hey, Lavender! Look, we're both in this game. Look, I'll show you. Because if we go to misc items, right? Look, booster velocity. There's me. And uh, materials, Lavender elixir. There's you. So we are both we are both a part of Rainbow Moon Cannon. Unfortunately. All oh right, yes, I see. Fortunately, there's no item. Yes, <laughs> there's there's no item called Ekma. So. <laughs> Got to sell all these materials. That's okay. I know. I know it's just because you're not 
part of the canon of this game that you don't feel worthy. But thank you for stopping by. I will see you later. Ekma. Could be. Although there is a Final Fantasy XII character called Fran, so... I, I guess that counts. A little different game, I know. So not exactly canon. Yeah, I'll kill this guy. Yay! Good battle music. <laughs> Say Fran. Yes? You said... I can't remember the exact line. 50 years ago, right? Your point... Uh, How old did you say you were again? Nice, Vaughn. Vaughn is such a silly silly. Right, do one attack on this one, and then since I would have moved, that will give me the ability to do attack up here. Very neat. Oh, I should defend though. When I played this game, Balthier. Well, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know whatever. Whatever values you want to assign. I mean, I'd call the main character the one that they say is the main character because that's. I can make sense of that. But people, people do complain like, oh, why is Van the main character? He doesn't have anything to do with the story. I'm like, ah. Oh. But he does have a bit of a hero complex, I suppose. A bit like snow. Because he says, I'm the leading man. All the time. Right, and then I should be able to kill this one. I'm imagining... <laughs> I'm imagining... that... One enemy, I'll take you out. I'm imagining that you've had Final Fantasy XII on your mind recently, since there's that Final Fantasy XIV stuff that just came out. I'm guessing. Oh, that was easy. See here you can buy lanterns, but you know, they take up space in your inventory and it's just not worth it. Thank you. Uh fruit rain. Oh, six hours. 
Oh, I'm back at the start. Oh, but I guess I had to be, didn't I? All right. Yeah, I don't think the Zodiac Age is, is the Zodiac Age is a good enough substitution for for twelve because it's it's one of those things where people people have it in their mind that the Zodiac Age is, is like an improvement because it has more things in it and it's better in all regards. I completely disagree. It has. So, I mean, the speed up fit function, I just, I, I, I just, it just irritates me so much. The whole, oh well, you're just grinding, so you may as well turn, you may as well, you know, whiz through it. <sighs> Drives me crazy. Oh, I didn't defend with it, did I? I was too busy being angry at the Zodiac Age. He can't reach out from here, can he? Oh, yes, he can. He's got decent... It, it doesn't look like much, but it is quite a decent range, that attack, when you... It, like, in regards to diagonals. But Trish is in quite a bit of trouble here. <laughs> well... Not haste at start. Are you referring to the speed up function in twelve in well Zodiac Age? It's like World of Final Fantasy. You can hold down L2 to speed up battle animations, right? But there's no reason to ever not do it. Alright, oh, right, okay. Yeah, well, you can't have to be next to each other for it to work, and a Desiru has one of his equipment gives him haste automatically, so its its function wouldn't be as effective. Yeah, so World of Final Fantasy, you can hold down a button to make the battle goes faster. Oh, I just turn them off. Whenever there's a whenever there's an opportunity to turn off battle animations, I just do it anyway. Like Yuna's animation, turn it off. Pokemon battle animations, turn them off. I like I think it's decent what they do with like Disgaea D2. And probably after that I don't know. Where you can turn them off but you have to see it the first time you use it. I think that's a decent, decent way of doing it. And in this game as well, it, it has a quite strange way of doing it. Is that once you've used a spell so well, spe say a spell, once you've used an ability so many times, you unlock the ability to to skip it. Yeah, I suppose. Well, um, well, when I say, what I mean when I say faster animations in World of Final Fantasy, if you hold down L2, what I mean is, not just the animation of the attack, I just mean everything that you see on the screen. So you know how, like all these characters here, for example, uh, you know, they're all bopping up and down, like characters do in games, like these, you know, animation, like, RPGs where characters are stood in a particular place or they're on a grid, they always do this bopping up and down animation, right? Well, if you have it sped up, it's like it's like they've gone totally ballistic. And it's not just the animation itself of the attack, it's the full on like just everything. 
and it just looks ridiculous. But the thing is, though, is that there's no reason to not speed it up because you, it's like, okay, do you wanna, do you wanna play waiting a bit more or not waiting a bit more? Well, obviously, it's gonna be better to not to play with not waiting a bit more. So you're gonna hold it down the whole time. So the game then becomes hold down L2 the whole time. I'm just gonna pick up this thing with him and get some money. Aha! Bound. Yeah, but I imagine. I also imagine in that game you have to be every every second, like every fraction of a second makes a difference. So when you've got games where you can, you know, speed up grinding as the, the I, I I I I use visual quotation marks, which I know you can't see, but aha, a medal. Probably not going to help for a while. So yeah, the idea is to speed up grinding, but it's... <sighs> why? Welcome. Why would you even have... If, there's a... if the game has a problem, and that problem is that you don't have high enough stats to play the game properly without having to speed through it, then why is that an issue put into the game to begin with? And if it's better to spend... Like, you're killing, like, you know, say you're going out killing rats, I mean, if you're doing a speed-up thing in a game, then you're more likely to do that because you're going to be able to reap so much more rewards from it than otherwise. So you're running back and forth killing these, like, super easy enemies with the button held down to speed up ten times, or whatever, and... And then it's like, oh, I'm mitigating the problem of this thing that's in this game. Well, don't have the thing in the game then, if it's a problem. But the, the point is that it isn't a problem, because levelling systems are there for a reason. They, dis they, they are part of the pace of the game. You can't just say, oh, well, I would have spent ten hours doing this thing. But no, you wouldn't, because you're holding down a button. It's an argument that's predicated on itself being false. I don't think so. I mean that the thing the thing is with leveling like leveling systems and all that is that you don't It's not stats and like specific milestones that you must reach. Like, if it said, for example, right, kill 100 rats and then this door unlocks because the 100th rat will give you a key or whatever, that's different to killing rats make your stats go up and stats make it easier because at that point the best way to play is to find the effective, the most effective ways to do things and like the fastest way to kill those rats or maybe there's other things you can kill that will give you more experience which is always the case it's never going to be the best option to just kill the weakest enemies because the amount of experience per minute that you'll get from those is always going to be loads lower than like later enemies and if it's not then that's a failure with the game If the starting enemies give you more experience than the later game enemies, and it makes it more effective. Well, you need a, a good lot of it filled. You need to, uh... I mean, of course... I mean, there's the thing, the thing is, like... When, when you say filled, if you mean 
filled as in what's there to begin with, then filling it is nowhere near enough. If you're talking about going round and replacing stuff, then it's it's variable, but it's bound to be. Because there's no one point where it's like a boss will say. I mean, I mean, you know, um, may, maybe there are games that do this. I don't know, but it's not like you get to the boss and it'd be like, "Hmm, you're supposed to have 255 luck for this boss, but you only have 254 luck." Well, one hit kill. But yeah, you need to work at it a lot, and that's my favourite part of the game: doing all that post-game grinding, working on that sphere grid. Can't remember what I'm doing here. Thank you. I'm lot. I'm. I'm sort of lost now in what I'm doing. Oh, not that. Five hours. Oh, I got that medal, didn't I? That's... that's ex... I can't... Oh, Baldur needs... Ugh. I can't think of any game where grinding is all you need. Actually, no, Last Rebellion is pretty close to that, actually. That game was pretty awful. Now, it's not the worst game I've ever played, but for an RPG, it just did. But grind, grinding's a dirty word that I don't I don't like using because it brings up ideas in people's mind that is t totally unrelated to what goes through my mind when I try to talk about that stuff. It's that whole thing I was saying yesterday about how you say words and people sort of get like an impression in their mind. And it's really, it really becomes obvious when people start saying things uh, based on probabilities because people are really bad at understanding things to do with probability like people will play the lottery and try to rationalizing it rationalize it by saying oh I could win which is an incredibly low chance but then like with games and all that they'll say oh you mean to tell me I can play this game for X amount of time and this and this could happen and this and this could happen. It's like, well, yeah, but you know, everything's, you know, you know, numbers don't don't work in such a way that stacking up a bunch of small probabilities adds to something that's significant, like significant enough to worry about. If you flip a coin ten times, it could come up heads ten times in a row, but. It's very unlikely. I don't really remember, but...
Oh, we can get a good line up here. Oh, very nice. My problem comes with games where you get a sudden difficulty spike and you can't grind. I've just, I've blatantly just full out quit Dark Side just now because it just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't handle it. And people, people say games are easier these days, but, oh, that's, I, I definitely can't vouch for that because when I try a lot a lot of the um sometimes I play I've seen I don't know if it was like a video or something, but I've heard people say that in Final Fantasy VII you have to do loads of grinding, and that... Oh, I definitely don't agree. I think new games, a lot of them have terrible controls. Nest days. Nest games have bad controls? Usually they don't have that much controls to begin with. I mean, I've not played many Nest games, so... Oh, I, I like that. Yeah, the original Castlevania. That I I thought I liked those controls. I thought that was pretty good. I didn't have a problem with that. Right, can I hit those three from here? Yes, I can. Oh, look at that! Oh, he's out of MP. I'm gonna have to spend a sub turn healing him now. Look at, isn't that lovely? Lovely attack there. But like Dark Siders, I like the controls there. I re well, I say the controls, but you know it's all just a bunch of stuff that Malka makes together. But it just became too much to handle. You know, you have to do things so perfectly, and that's the th like when it comes to games like like Super. Me I always use Super Meat Boy as an example of this, and I do like Super Meat Boy, but I get fed up so quickly because when you try a level ten times and you just keep dying. And you can't, there's no like leveling mechanic, or you can't, you can't try grinding or whatever. I don't remember. Um, button combos in action games I t tend to avoid anyway because I can't, because it, it's a lot for me to handle and I can't really get my head around it. No, you just... And people always... It's one of those things people always pray saying, Oh, but when you die, you... You don't have to go back a lot or how long we have to go back to the start of the level. And it's a short level. Yeah, but if you're dying 30 times, you're still having to... If you're dying a lot of times, you still have to... Um, repeat that, that... That thing 30 times. And now Trisha's out of MP. Yeah, 
Yeah, whereas if you've got a hard game where you get sent to the beginning, you get more variety because you're not playing one thing for ages at a time. Ah, you stupid blobs. They remind me too much of the Far Fantasy 8 blobbers, these guys. Just because of how they look. Well, a lot of the time, you sort of, you know what you're doing. Yes, plans. Um, in Far Fantasy 8, they're called Blobras and they're blue. You know, Far Fantasy 8 has no colour swaps for the enemies. They all, they all look completely different. They all have their own unique model. I suppose. I've always just always oh, bound, isn't he? I've just called. I've just. It's never. Those things that never crossed my mind. I never saw Blobbers and thought, oh yeah, that's Flans. I just thought, oh yeah, they're Blobbers, and I saw Flans in other games, and I thought, alright, oh, yeah, they're Flans. How am I doing for Fruit Rain? Can I use it yet? Yes, I can. Recycling? Oh, you mean enemy sprite? Enemy models and all that? I, I don't have a problem with it. I nev I've never had a an issue with recolored enemies. I know some people do. I'd never have. It generally means that you just get more enemies, which can be good, I suppose. Should have healed his MP before. Oh, I'm running out small herbs as well. I'm gonna have to refresh our nose. Ah, oh, zombies. He's not very good. Thing is, like for example, in in Dragon Quest Eight, there's a lot of them, and it can get a bit confusing to know off the top of your head which ones are the stronger ones. I think, I think Trish is, I don't remember, who, I think Trish is trying against those big skeleton warrior guys. Skeleton warriors! She's almost out of MP again. Oh. Did defend. Yes, I have no idea what most of them are. Well, 
after this fight, I'm going to have to go to the item shop because I'm out of... Well, I've got one more small herb, I think. And Dozeru is almost out of MP. I mean, he uses the tiny herbs. Oh, I only need one for this one, at least. The leveling was all over the place in Lost Odyssey. It did the thing of... Oh, this is a strange new place. Well, I'm not going to fight you, am I, with the lack of MP? Well, you're always working... I mean, generally speaking, you're always going to be working towards... I mean, realistically speaking... How many times in RPGs do you just... I mean, the act Am I just going around in circles? Right, not anymore. Oh, jeez. Has to close the second I get there, doesn't it? I mean, realistically speaking, how often in RPGs do you just stop and grind? I mean, for me at least, I feel like it's very, very rare. I can't... There's always... You know, there's always something at the heart of it all. Yeah, I saw a, um, I saw something where, and I've said this before, where they were saying that in Far Fantasy VII you have to do loads of grinding, and I'm that is just so weird to me because I'm thinking, no, you don't, you definitely don't. I think people see the ability to grind as sort of like an excuse to not think about anything. I never think I never think to myself about I, f I find the whole thing of commenting on grinding as its own concept rather unusual because I never really think about it Thank you. <laughs> oh yes I'm... right buy a couple of tiny herbs I'm gonna buy a bunch of these small herbs I don't need to buy anything else, I don't think. But we'll have a save. I generally think if you don't like grinding in the game, then that doesn't really say much about the game itself. Or rather, it doesn't say much for the quality of the game itself. Because grinding is just playing it, isn't it really? You know, fighting enemies, that's what you do in the game anyway. Difference being is that you're taking the reward into consideration. 
whereas with the there, there are other games where you would defeat enemies for this I mean generally if you think about a lot of games that aren't RPGs in any way the Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know. People people talk about grinding like it's a completely separate... On a completely separate axis to the game itself. And I'm just thinking, well, no, it's just it's just the game. Right, I'm going to take Dozeru this way because... Baldrin's got enemies he's weak to over there. So Dozeru's going to go and help him out. Actually, can I? Yeah. Should have done this first. Oh, hold on one moment. Right, hold on, sorry. I'm gonna be a few minutes, probably a bit more, but I shall be back afterwards.
Okay, I'm back. Are you still there? Yeah, that's right. Move away from Baldrin. I don't know if there's like a boss at the end of this dungeon or anything like that. Yeah, I'll just, no, just use those straight up. Um, where is the other one? What am I doing? It's not different characters, different items. Ah, right at the top. See those three at the top are really nicely lined up, ready for Dezero to attack. You could just one-shot him, that's fine. So I wonder when she's going to get her last sub 10. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with Baldwin here. Oh, I know what I can do. I can do uh, the Earth Shaker on these guys. Oh, I found both of them. That's fantastic. Right, can I? Don't think so, but I'm gonna have a look. No. Mm. Yeah. Although they are bound, so I suppose it doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh. And she's weak against these, yes. Yeah, this is pretty over and done with. See, my favourite is when they actually move and don't attack. It really is nice when they do that.
No, I have no idea. Because it's been a while. Time, like, real time wise. Ah, there you go. Can I accept all of these? Well, I can. I have to, like, sell a bunch of them, though. needed to cough so unplug the microphone which is what I do every so often uh -huh. I'm all alone in here I do hope that the boat is soon. Oh look, Tiny Herb doesn't fully heal his MP anymore. Which is okay, they're still effective. <laughs> I was thinking, oh that's a nice shot, but then I realised, oh no, that's Baldrin. Right, it's okay. No, I could use Trisha to... Oh, well, never mind. Baldwin's gonna kill him anyway, so that's fine. No. Very rare you get actually that, that attack there, you can get that lined up properly. Oh, now Baldwin's all the way with all the zombies and he's really weak against those zombies, so that's not good. To try to kill all the others. With them, um, with Trisha and Desiree, I mean, Desiree can't really do anything because he's only short range. But I mean, I can try to get the others to run away, I guess. But that's the thing, when you've only got one enemy left, it suddenly becomes loads easier. But I do think that the um, that the boat is pretty soon. Oh, I don't wanna. Let's see if I can avoid fighting those guys. I don't know how big this dungeon is. It could be really big. You know what? Now's probably a good time to see if. Can use some of those items. Yeah, it's up by type. Yep. Yeah. And you have that. Still got all those, but I might just start selling the bananas. Because the apples are getting me by just perfectly fine.
Now where was it? It was over here, wasn't it? Yes. Is that a back to the entrance one? Yes, thought so. Fruit rain. Can I? No, seven hours. So. 15.27? Not gonna remember that. But on the off chance that I do somehow. Oh, okay. Didn't think this was going to be a boss, but fair enough. Good job, I saved. Right, I can get both of these from here. Don't get many bosses in this game. In fact, most bosses are just this, you know. Lots of um, big groups of enemies. My point this area was where Baldrin is. Something tells me this boss isn't going to be that hard. Right, this boss, is he weak to... No, he isn't. I thought I might have been able to have killed him. But I guess not. Oh, do I have an anti-bound flask? I want to just bound stop her from using that ability that moves her automatically. Right, anti-bound, do I have any? Oh, one. Oh, I've, well, I've only got one to do fast, but who cares? I've got the resistance to it, to poison anywhere. Aha, lovely. Yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah, and then defend. Managed to kill two enemies there. Now oh, this is nice because those three are lined up. He's got to take some beating, isn't he? Yeah, I'll kill this one and then just defend. Yeah, these, I mean, I haven't really had any problems with this battle trying to, you know, whittle everything down. It's been pretty fine. I mean, yeah, that bit's been fine, but now I've got to revive Baldwin and all that. Right, well, he's definitely not weak to Trisha then. But when there's only one enemy, I mean, you can go all out on them. But it looks like he's got a lot of health. A few, few thousand at least.
Yeah, he's got to recover his MP as well, isn't he? I mean, look at how look how slowly his health is going down. Right, small herbs and defend. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just taking a beating. Just watching that bag go down. And he does get three sub turns, which when he's next to Baldrin, I was going to call him Cloud then, <laughs> when he's next to Baldrin. He, um, he could just wail on him. I'm hoping I get the boat after this, but I have a feeling that there'll still be more to do. I may have to use a small portion on Baldrin. Right, you're gonna kill him? Maybe, come on. No, right, will this kill him? Yes! How lovely, right. Get extra boost in that, and you can get three more HP. Ooh, small nectar. I wonder when nectar is going to become effective to use. Oh. So is this like? The actual boss, then. Well, in that case, I'm going to be doing a save for definite. Yeah, doing the the three, the three saves, you know, because you can't just save once; you have to save in multiple files. Because that's the way that it works. For some reason, right. This guy looks too big to not be a boss. I 
I guess not. It does look like it should be a boss, though. I mean, that is weird. Right. Let's pick up all these items. Probably won't be able to take all of them, but still. Right, can't pick up that, for example. Small gorilla. Yeah, you can have that. I'll come back for that portion. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll use a small portion on you so I can pick up that portion. Melon and bun. Should probably use some food. I mean, I don't need to use any of these, but... You know, I need to... It's still better to pick them up than to leave them. Right. Well, there's that done. Uh, back to Zellerus, I guess. Yeah, I still feel like there's probably a bit more to do before the boat. I don't know how much, though. But I do hope it is soon. But I know I've got to go back to that village, like further north, Orad. Oh yeah, got to sell loads of stuff. Right. Uh, I think it's about time I start selling these small portions because I don't need them. I'm definitely going to sell all this food. I'm, in fact, I'm going to sell some, some of these bananas. Oh, I'm going to use Fight Pack 12 as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Sell all these. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So we're trying to find out who is that that guy that Lavender was saying. Yeah, it's good. put to use all these pearls. I think I might have had more than one level up for those. I'll use up some of those defences. Always max out these ones and then maybe put some more in, in defence. Let's not do a save. See how far I'm up from another fruit rain. Not far at all, basically. Yeah, I will just eat these apples. And then get the rest ready to sell. Oh, 
Oh, it's a boss, okay. Okay, right. Well, I will do a save then. I can see nice little raindrops on my window as it's kind of a bit dark. Does he say Banzai? Um, yeah, he does, it's Banzai. Right, where is Zoharis? Right, he's right in the top corner there. Oh wow, okay. That was not nice. Attacking Trisha like that. It is strange to think like different... Like different characters have different weapon types and... Um... Zelaris uses a slingshot. We are bound, so I don't have to worry about you, because I don't think you've got any range attacks. Oh, well, the is strong against him. Yeah, Zelarus has got really weird angular attacks. Does that work out better? No, not necessarily. Right, can I get this to line up? Not particularly, no. But I can do that. Probably is not as good, I don't know. I just want Desiree to get... Oh no, move out the way! You s silly, silly rock monster. Yeah, that's right. Keep attacking the Zeru. Now, question is, should I focus on attacking the Zeru, or should I just attack these other guys? Well, he's got to heal up. Right, yeah, heal and then defend. Oh, resistance to poison is really nice. Yeah, and then just spam Hydra Blades on this guy. And he could probably get up a lightning strike on those two. So it's all going well. Yeah, just a couple more enemies.
Yeah, I was thinking I should probably just attack Desiree, but then again, um, I mean, Zelaris, but then again, I'd just be keeping that guy alive, wouldn't I? Yeah, I've got to deal with the zombie with Baldwin now. Ah, bound. Well, that's good at least. I'll just kill it. Yep, there you go. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I thought I don't want to defend because he's probably not going to be attacked anyway. Right. This is working out very well. Look how little damage he's doing. But I will need to use uh, a Tanya just to get that recovered back up. Oh, I might be able to attack. Never mind. Yeah, we might be able to attack Baldrin now. But at least Baldrin can attack him. Yeah, he's just going to keep attacking Dozeru, which is ridiculous. I mean, look at that. One, two, two points of damage. Zero. Dozeru just does not care. I can do three of these. In fact, I'll just do four of them, because he's probably not going to get another turn anyway. And, oh, not enough MP. Well, that's quickly fixed. No, not that one. Because there's a bag in the way. Actually, no, I will. I will pick that bag up. Right, another lavender elixir. Oh, but that one only raises us by four. Because the other one raises it by five. Right, is this when he joins us? Aha! Okay, so the shops have leveled up now. That's nice to know. So he's not going to join us yet, then. Well... Hmm. Okay. Got quite a ways to go. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised he hasn't joined us. Actually, I'm gonna check. Oh, you can equip it now. That's nice. Go on then. Good day. Right, let's see what I get. Bye bye. Weapon for a character I've never used. Let's go to Ah yeah, the shops have I've got new stuff, don't they? Oh, how very... all this exciting stuff. Right. Sell. Sell. 
how much bits do I have? Plenty. Oh, I haven't used Fight Pattern 11, have I? Right. Let's use Fight Pattern 11. Up 12, rather. Needle approach. Check fruit rain, see if I can do that. No, I have two more hours. Welcome. Right, small ginger restores 40% of HP and MP for 150. Okay. What else is new? I can buy cheese. Which of course, I'd never buy food in this game, so there's no point. Cheese grommet. Anti slowed flask. Uh, I wanna I wanna go to the uh, scroll shop. Thank you. I should probably check the weapon shop, see what I can new weapons I can get. And see how they compare. Right. Okay. So bow wise oh expensive, isn't it? Not that great of a boost. I am not so impressed with these weapons. But... Is there a scroll shop? No, there isn't a scroll shop near here at all. I'm going to have to go back up to Orad, aren't I? Oh, hold on. Zero viewers. I mean... That makes no sense because I should have it open on my laptop. Unless it's clonked out. Never used that word clonked before. Right, so new area down there. So, yeah, I think it's quite a while to get the boat still by the looks of it. Oh, there I am back. I guess I had to cancel out and reload and all that sort of stuff. Oh, no, there's a scroll shop up here. Might have some decent abilities. Right, scroll shop, what have you got for me? Armor ex Oh! Armor expander! I mean, I'm not interested, but... I wasn't expecting to see it, I suppose. Resistance Master... Meatball. Ma oh, yeah, that's that's alright. Yeah, not bothered. Bound, maybe. Orion's Gift. Oh, this is the thing that Gnarly Goat Dude was talking about. Yeah, I'll get that. Cure. Yeah, okay. Oh, they've got protection, so that doesn't really matter. I wonder if I can get any more of these yellow scrolls. Right, um, so you can learn Cure and you can learn Orion's Gift. As, let's, 
Yeah, there you are. So, I want to go back, I want to go through the portal, because I want, I'll just go this way, can I? Yeah, that's easier. <laughs> As if it made a big difference anyway. Right, fruit rain? Yes. Right, this is where I need to be. Yeah. And I can sell all that Welcome. stuff. Right, yeah those two lavender elixirs are different. So I'll just sell all these. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Goodbye. Ah. <laughs> Visit Melt. Work with TB. Oh, there you are. Hi, Melt. Map of Iran. Right. All over Iron. I already found three of them according to the Mansion Scrolls. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right. Okay. So, yeah, there's still more to do on this continent. I thought I was going to get the boat, but. I guess not. And there's going to be more down there as well, isn't there? Is there a portal up here? I don't think so. No. But I'm going to have a look at that map. Hold on. Didn't he say it's gonna give me a map? I mean it can't be in my inventory, can it? Oh, key items. I forgot about this. Map of Iron. Right, okay. Yeah. So there's still a bit to go then. There's Shardwick at the top. And then the tiny bit does it. Right, okay. I had a feeling there's going to be a bit more, I wasn't sure to what extent. Right, but let's check this. Went down by one. No, I'm not seeing clams curious. Well, definitely an improvement. 
Yeah. I'll get that. Equip. Come to cure us. There you go. Right. Let's continue on in our adventure. I don't know where it is exactly that I need to go. Is it this way? Probably. There we go. Oh, funny Lavender was still here. She loves snowy places and all that. Now the second best battle music. Well, that was a nice chunk of damage. I didn't realise they were weak to Trish's attacks. Well, that's nice to know. Although, I guess I should have known, because the big ones tend to be... Oh, oh yeah, this is another make you move for round one. Nice lot of damage. Which I would expect from something with only a one hit area. Nah, you just stay on the sidelines there, I think, Rushi. You're not really going to help that much. Yeah, I need to just kill that one. That's fine. I'll try normal attacks. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You're gone. Northwest. Fjordowick. Northeast. Endless Passage. Right, so I'm guessing that's a, like a town or something up here. Haha! -ha, portal! There's two empty spaces here. No, I didn't see that one there. But hey, it's one enemy. Now, are you weak to Trisha? Yes, you are. Two hits will do you fine. Well, that was alright, wasn't it? It's not the day to fulfill dreams. Fine then. 
Yeah, well, the person need to go is this way, so this is where I'm heading. Oh, all of these guys are uh, weak against Trisha. Handy. Now, can you? No. Might be able to get one hit with a Hydra Blade from over here. But yeah, that's not that's not too much. Very nice. Right, well, this is a savant. So... I might be close. To Vjordowick. Oh, no, that's just... It's just the edge. Fair enough, then. I was thinking I was leading into the village, but no. Right, well, you lead to something, so I'll take you on. Take on me. I should have defended actually. I didn't think. No, they're far too close. Right. But I could do that. Oh, I'm already able to skip that ability. That didn't take long at all. Oh, hello. Are you fusing together? Well, that's... probably not very nice. For them and for me. Five damage, ha ah. Might end this stream pretty soon. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get quite a few of those small nectars. Not sure at what point it's going to become valuable to use or to, to buy even. Well, that was rubbish. That also wasn't great. Oh, oh was that would have been one of the ones that fused. I'm guessing. 
Oh, and he's bound. Well... Yeah, the def definitely the fused ones, those ones. That crystal icon. Oh, he's bound as well. I don't know if bound wears off over time either. I don't have any anti-bound flasks. I can attack this one, I guess. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Yeah, this isn't that good. How are you doing on health? Not too bad. Well, that one's bound. That, that makes that much of a difference. Just grab the Hydra Blade it. No, I got the... I don't think there's anything I can do with him. Just have to like brute force it, I suppose. I mean, look at the health. The Baldwin and Desire are both in the yellow now. to use a potion and then defend. They've got lots of potions. He's got to use a... Right. He's got to use two items now because he has to heal his health and he has to heal his... Uh... Wait, what? Right, okay. No! Oh. I didn't want to eat an apple. I wanted to... Um... Use a tiny leaf. I could kill me one more turn. In fact, yeah, I will do that. I won't defend, I'll kill him instead. Probably work out better for me. Right, item. Recovery items. Tiny herbs. Okay. Right, can this still... No, I can't. Right, okay. I can't use the movement-based ability still. I well, figured I'll attack this guy because Trish is able to attack the other one effectively and not that one very ineffectively, so... If I can kill this one... No, not quite. I will, though. Just won't defend with her. I didn't realise this arrow was going to get another turn, never mind. Hmm. 
I can't do anything, can I? I can't move anywhere. I'm just gotta rely on these ranged attacks. Tell you what, the experience bag does go up a lot after those fights. Oh, Yorker's house. Right, well... Nothing near yet. Well, that's just lovely. Okay, I've got to go up this way. But you're defending stuff. Yeah, not much I can do. Oh, no, I don't want to go to that one. I was thinking it would take me to the village with the lottery, so I could have give that a go. But no. Goodbye. Uh, Trisha, how was fruit win? Right, um, Baldrin, you're going with that banana because you're starting to run a bit behind. Oh, you should have had some of... Mm. Right, I'll sell all but the apples then. Goodbye, they're meant to be the goat. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. I think so. I'll get a couple of those just because I'll get one more a small ginger that seems pretty neat but it seems you need the perfect situation for it to line up properly Hold on. Small nectar. 50%. So that's 100. Uh, no. Portions are still a little. I get, well, not entirely, I suppose. Small nectar can be. be better. Given the situation. Right, I'll just have a quick lock. Recovery items. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Windy snowfield. Okay.
Right, I'll take these guys on, and then I might end the stream there. I mean, I'm going to pick the items up, obviously, but you know what I mean. Can I hit anything? Well, kind of. But this area really is Trisha's place to shine. Because she's still strong against a lot of these enemies. This one. Back off. Back off. I probably won't kill. Well, might do if I attack it another time after this one. Do 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 do. How much damage will this do? A decent amount. But I can just kill it. Living rock. Boundaries. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. Yeah, well, I'm gonna kill this and then I'm gonna end the stream. I'm just going to end the audio now, and that'll be it. <laughs>